Ooh, what's going on guys this is barker back with another nba video talking about the nba but before i start today's video hit that like button hit that subscribe button i make basketball videos all the time would love the support but today's video i'm going to be talking about the nba play in tournament and what i'm going to be talking about it is the fact that it's the greatest thing adam silver's done as commissioner in my opinion i love the play in tournament idea I love how it's ran, and I think it needs to be in the NBA every single season. Now, it's got a lot of criticism this season because, obviously, it's a lesser season. They're playing less games this season. They're playing 72 instead of the normal 82. So some teams are saying it's a little unfair to have a tournament like this when they work so hard to get to the 7th seed in lesser games just to eventually, potentially, get knocked out in the play-in tournament. Now... Players like Luka Doncic and Mark Cuban have gone out in the public uh, criticizing the play-in tournament format for this season. And in my opinion, tough shit. Tough shit, Luka. Tough shit, Mark Cuban. If you're a real 7 seed, fucking beat the other teams. Then it's no fucking problem. Like, stop whining and just win the game. Like, I watch a lot of Mavericks games. And I swear to God, every time Luka goes up the court, that man is crying like a baby. Crying. Like, you are an MVP candidate for the last two seasons. And you cry over everything. But I I'll stop talking. Yes, I understand it's him being competitive. But goddamn, that man can't stop crying. Uh, if you don't know the format of the play-in tournament, the 9, 10, 7, and 8 seed make the play-in tournament from each conference. The 9 and 10 seed play against each other and the seven and eight seed play against each other uh the winner of the seven eight seed and it's a best of three somewhat if you're the higher seed you only need to win one game if you're the lower seed you need to win two games so seven eight seed play against each other whoever wins that becomes the seventh seed whoever loses it has to play the winner of the nine ten seed whoever's the loser of the nine ten seed doesn't make the playoffs and then the winner of the 9, 10, 7, 8 against game becomes the 8th seed of the playoffs and the loser doesn't make the playoffs. So obviously it favors the teams that are higher seeds. So it really shouldn't be that big of a problem. Yes, I understand you work so hard to become a higher seed than those lower seeds. And it kind of sucks if like you got a 7th seed and then lose to a 10th seed in two games. I understand that completely. I understand the criticism, but it's like a mini March Madness tournament before the NBA playoffs. Like, it's fun to watch, and people just get too critical on little things and forget about the fact that basketball is just supposed to be fun to watch. Like, at the end of the day, this is fun to watch, so why should they get rid of it? This should be every single season, no matter what. Some other points I want to say about the play-in tournament is the fact that Obviously, Golden State <clears throat> is like a 10 seed right now, I believe. Maybe a 9 seed in the West. And they've been on fire recently. So, they might deserve a playoff spot more than the 7-8 seed. Because they've been on fire recently. And their record doesn't show it. Because they started off like shit. Absolute shit. So, you know, teams that are kind of heating up at the end have a big advantage. And it makes the playoffs more interesting. <clears throat> at the end of the day, because there's been 8 seeds... Who have been terrible, who have gotten major injuries right before the playoffs, and they suck. And then the first round playoff series is terrible, and the first seed just 4 0s them and wins by 30 every single game. <coughs> Pistons versus Bucks like two years ago. Oh, something in my throat. But basically, yeah, everyone wants to see Golden State play against like the Utah Jazz first round in the playoffs. That would be fun to watch. And at the end of the day, they've been playing on fire. The Wizards have been playing on fire recently. I would love to see them play against the Nets first round. Obviously, <clears throat> I don't think Golden State or the Wizards are going to win in the first round. But it would still be fun to watch. And maybe they could win a, a game or so. They're not going to win the series. But it would still be fun to watch. And like I said, it makes it more interesting. It adds more variables. It just It's more surprising, shocking... Why would the NBA not do it? Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think about my opinion. Is the NBA play-in tournament good for the NBA? Peace.